Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We typically don't complain about much, but there is something that gamers frequently say that absolutely grinds our gears. It's when they call this inconvenient. Or this. It's time to blow off some steam. What are we drinking today? today we're drinking Dark Star by Freema. It's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout with coffee aged in bourbon barrels. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about why the good old CRT TV is not inconvenient. This is Flex Game Squad. You're watching Gaming Off The Grid, possibly Ooh. the greatest channel on earth. Yeah, the well, greatest. Besides Game Shack, Game Chasers, Retro Liberty, Chase After yeah. the Right Price, Both. Rust Lion. All right, here we go. It's time to grind that ax. It's time to get this off our chest. CRTs are not useless. They are the best way to play retro games. We've been saying this for a very yes, long time. Ever since we started the channel, that's how we game. We have two CRTs in the game. Yeah. That's how we play everything on. We like to play the systems how they were meant to be played. Yeah, you know? and you know, this really came to me. I had this like epiphany. I was watching this Metal Jesus video way back in January and he got this really cool GameCube kiosk. And he was kind of tug of war in the episode, like, ah, do I put an LCD on there or do I keep it original? And he decided to put a tube TV on yes. it. And I'm just gonna let Jason tell the story himself because he made a very good point. Now, I don't know about you guys, I haven't hooked up a GameCube to an old school television in a long time. And even this one here, I was using just composite, right? Just the yellow video cable. But I gotta be honest with you, I was shocked at how good this looks. It's funny because we think of composite video signals today hooked up to an HD television as crap, and rightfully so because it doesn't look good on a modern HD television. But I was immediately reminded that, wow, this actually looks really clear. It looks great on, a, on an old school TV. So this got me to thinking, got my wheels turning. Metal Genius Rocks is one of our favorite YouTube yeah. channels. We've, we've had beers with him. He's always been very, very good to us. He knows his video games. The dude has been playing games since the Atari, PC games, so on and so forth. Got a great game collection. He knows what he's doing. And he forgot how good games looked on a CRT TV. He played the GameCube through composites like, man, this looks great. And I'm like, Dude, we've been saying this yes. all along. And that's not even the, the best way to play the GameCube, S-Video. Yeah. If you did S-Video with that or setup, component. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's incredible. But just AV on a regular TV, CRT, it looks great. And I know people are like, well, it's too big. I don't have a CRT. I got rid of it. They're inconvenient. They're blah, blah, blah. You know, here's the thing. If you're going for a 36-inch Sony Triatron, yeah, that's big. It's bulky. That's inconvenient. You're going to throw your back out. We do have two of them, though, in <laughs> yeah. the garage. But if you stick to, like, a 20-inch TV, this thing, we could, I could carry this for freaking five miles over my arm. It's the, it really does not weigh that no, much. It's not that much. Like, the smaller they are, I think the better the picture looks. Yeah. If you get those big ones, they yeah. still look great, but... This is awesome. And also, just look at this wood panel. Isn't it so, freaking beautiful? So if you've seen the intro to the video, here's the problem that we have. Here's the axe we have to grind. How is this? A TV that we got for free. Most of our CRTs, by the way, we have gotten for and free. And we have a lot of them. Yeah, we do. How is that inconvenient as opposed to buying 27 different offerings that they have out there, whatever the number is, of all these different devices to upscale your consoles to modern TVs? And I've even heard people like, well, the retro tank can do all of them. Okay, touche. But I don't want to get behind my TV and unplug and plug in each console every yeah. time I want to play it. And plus, getting that device is pricey. you got to drop money for yeah. that. And then when you get your old school console plugged in, and let's say you plug the NES into that, into your giant 55-inch flat screen TV, you put it on and you're like, oh, it's cool, but it's not how I remember it looking. Yeah. It still looks a little bad. And let's not I even wonder why. Let's not even scratch the surface much on how annoying it is that it probably has input lag. Oh yeah, yeah. that's another huge issue. Anybody out there, hit me in the comment section below when you can beat Mike Tyson's punch out with an HD converter on an NES. Speedrunners don't play games that way. There are ways out there. There's going to be somebody in the comments says, yeah, but if you run it through a Frame Meister and then run it through a Frankensteiner and then you do this, this, and this, you can mitigate the input lag. 
That's inconvenient, yeah, dude. That's so many more things you yeah. have to buy and hook up. <laughs> and all that stuff, to me, yeah. is way over my head. You know what's not over my head? Getting a free TV and it's just three yeah. prongs. Yeah. That's all it is. Yep. You don't have to be smart with technology. You don't have to freaking drop all this money for all this crazy stuff. To, It's just kind of, that's inconvenient and yeah. annoying. You know, this setup right here, no joke, we probably have less than $30 sitting on this TV. Yeah. Actually, that's a lie because the beer is an expensive beer. Yes. But this free TV, this game, dime a dozen. The NES we got at the yard sale. And that's retro gaming, folks. That is the fun of retro games. Don't, I feel like people are chasing the dragon with it, right? I feel like they always think they can get it a little bit better. It's kind of like, you know, beer. You always want that, that next best stout, that next best IPA. You always want to play the next best thing. Cigars, you want to have that next best cigar. Folks, it was great. Leave it alone. Yeah. Play it how it was. You're going to enjoy retro gaming a lot more if you do that. I, I really think the nostalgia you get when you play on something like this, I want to play it right now. I want to quit filming this episode and play this yeah, game. Yeah, and play Mario. I just don't get why gamers, especially retro gamers, defend upscaling and all this yeah. stuff. I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. And I also think the Metal Jesus video is kind of a good call to action for retro gamers. He struggled a little bit to find the CRT TV that he wanted to use for, for that kiosk. Guys, they're not going to be around forever. No. And you, most of them, they, they last. Will they be around for another 30 years and still working? I don't know. You might have to replace some capacitors. But right now, we have only had one CRT TV out of, I think we've cycled through maybe 10 that has failed on us. And it was a power button issue, which we could have fixed if we wanted to put any money in. Yeah, but it was a free TV and we were like, oh, we had a bunch of extras. And then we got free ones after that. Yeah. Like, Let's get rid of it. It's just, it's just one of those things. I think now is the time to get them. And I also think it is the best way to play retro games. Quit chasing the dragon. Try, tr quit trying to make great even greater. It now, was great and it looked fine then and it still looks fine now. Now we're not anti-modern technology. We're not anti-flat no. screen TVs. We play the modern consoles yep. on our modern TVs because that's the yep. way they were intended to be played. So don't be like, oh, you just play stuff on your CRTs. No, no. we do both. We just think that stuff looks great on that stuff because that's what it was made for. Yep. This stuff looks great for this because that's what it was made for. So why are you messing with things that are already, <laughs> that's how it was meant to be. Yeah. You're not freaking it's, trying to change you, the recipe. You, you know, know, it kind of it makes me think of like you know have you ever got a blu-ray of an older movie and then you put it in and it's on a new tv and it's got that like true motion or oh, that six, true motion like that 60 frames per yeah. second thing and it looks like a shitty soap opera and oh. you're like that's not how one flew over the cuckoo's nest looked it's the same type of yeah. thing it looked fine then it will look fine now when it looks like dog shit is when you hook it up with regular cables on the tv Get the CRTs. Let's play some retro games. Quit blowing all your money with all the money you spend on all those Dude, converters. Think about all the games you can get. Exactly. For example, you can get Power Blade 2 instead of buying those converters. That game's badass, but it's super expensive, <laughs> Dude, you know? You know, but people would say, if we did an episode like, Dude, we just bought Power Blade 2, 250 bucks. They'd be like, you're psycho. But I spent 300 bucks on converter cables. Just so I can put Come my on. NES and Duck Hunt on a modern <laughs> TV and the gun doesn't even work right. <laughs> yeah. So ah. yeah, I just think it was a, it was kind of a aha moment when Jason brought that up, you know, Metal Jesus, he knows his stuff and he's like, man, I kind of forgot how good this looked. I think a lot of people yeah, I did. Think, I think a lot of people did. And it, this episode, we might've felt a little angry, but we're just trying to get it off our chest. Yeah. Like just, just give it a chance. Yep. If you forgot, or if you're upskilling your things and you're like, uh, I'll get, just give it a chance, yep. please. Absolutely. Uh, the beer. Let's uh, talk about this. Yes. So this is a beer that Joe Wallace sent us. This is the Dark Star by Fremont. This is the 2018 release. It's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout with coffee aged in bourbon barrels. I'll let you take it away. This beer is fantastic. Uh, I'm a huge stout fan. And uh, I love oatmeal stouts. I love Imperial stouts. Uh, the, the cool twist on this is this is a tried and true oatmeal stout. Yeah. You get that right away. You get the barrel age and the coffee that is feathered in there. It is literally like a breakfast morning. Sitting at Sunday morning, coffee table, your cup of coffee, your oatmeal. I love me some oatmeal. And yeah. this stout is freaking epic. Yeah, this is so epic. I think this is our second or third beer we've had from Fremont. And every beer we've had has been just divine. So incredible. And this is a special release. I love when the wax comes down. Oh, yeah. Kind of like a Maker's Mark bottle. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool. And when I first took a sip of this, I was like, wow this is a beer and they're not messing around this if you're not into beer you might not like this because this is an aggressive freaking flavorful beer and it is really good yeah i i i think it's a 
going to be in the conversation for beer of the year. Yeah. Definitely beer of the month. Um, you'll have to stay tuned for that stuff. Joe, thank you so much. You know we love you. Cheers, man. Uh, we really appreciate it, and this beer is great. Another thing we appreciate is playing things the way they were meant to be played. Yes. There's a feeling when you play retro games on a setup like this that is unexplainable. If you've ever put on a vinyl record and enjoyed oh, an album, yes. that's the best way to enjoy an album, especially some of the older stuff. You don't get to just go through and pick the songs you want to hear. You have to enjoy the album. Yes. There's something so nostalgic, archaic, and just organic about pressing the power button on this and watching this bad boy fire. Watching up. it swell and get brighter. <laughs> it's just a warming feeling. Take the money you're spending on all those HD cables and invest them in games and then play them the way they were meant to be played. You're going to get better response time. They're going to control better and you're going to probably feel better. You feel better? I feel better. I feel better. That's off our chest. We love our CRTs, and we love you. We always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Off The Grid. It's when people call these inconvenient. Or these. <coughs> I should say, call this inconvenient. Or this. Yeah. Hey, guys. <coughs> hey, guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We are freak. What are we drinking here today? Today we're drinking Dark Star by Fremont Brewing Company. It's a... <clears throat> Imperial oatmeal. And so when people say this is inconvenient or this, you know what? Oh shit, I was slow. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk a... And let's talk a... <sighs> ah. You know what's inconvenient? Having 27 different... Fuck! Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We typically don't complain about much, but there is something that, something. Okay. Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We typically don't complain about much, but there is something that gamers frequently say that absolutely grinds our gears. It's when they call this inconvenient. Or this. You know what's, ah, dang it. Ah, damn it, okay. Damn it, my bad.